Today we're going to start off with peace and happiness. I just want you peace no, and happiness because there's a way we could go. <laughs> but <laughs> hallelujah. But <laughs> this is about fun. <laughs> fun to make you do right. <laughs> make you do wrong? Nah, it'll make you do right. You sure? I anytime I have fun is right. Oh. Okay, yeah, that no, no, some fun I have is not is not right. Cause you nasty. But what I'm saying is it could go, it could go either way. It can go any way. All right, all right, that's enough. I've been listening to uh I've been listening to other podcasts in the last couple of days. Mm -hmm. um, and everybody is starting off like not fun. And when I, ha I have to have a certain energy when I'm doing things, like when I'm uh, cooking breakfast or dinner or something like that, I listen to podcasts. Mm -hmm. When I'm. You don't cook lunch though. Okay, thank you. I just want to put that out okay. there. Okay. When I'm doing these things, I listen to podcasts. They put me in a certain mood and I'm like, okay, cool, I'm ready. And then, or when I'm doing my makeup or something like that. And. It's all taking me to a place I don't want to go. Like, I need to be in a good mood. I can't be, I can't let things that I can't control affect my everyday life and my. Yeah, man, you might be happy right now. You might be sad right now. But at the end of the day, be happy. <laughs> that is not inspirational <laughs> no, no, at all. All right, let me try it again. Let me no. try it again. No, I'm, I'm going to try it again. What? Today, you might be a little sad. Or today, you might be elated. But remember, no matter what anybody else does, did, or will do, you are in control of how your day and life goes. Well, not really my life. but um, <laughs> Unless you're a woman. But you know, uh. you know what I mean? Like, I am trying to, I, I, if I go around all day and I'm stressed out all day mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. like, I, it's not, it's not going to do anything for me. Like, I'm, tr I'm trying to find reasons to just be up. I'm trying to just, you know what I mean? I got a reason. <sighs> What? You gave me some butt yesterday, man. I, not, I didn't not, give you not butt. The butt. I didn't give you not, butt. Not the butt. Did not. Not the butt. Yeah. But but you gave me some vagina. Can I be honest? You didn't want to. I've. <laughs> That's honesty for your ass. Well, I didn't. But wait a minute. Well, you knew that. Come on. All right. So yo, she right. walked. She walked in. All right. Wait. I'm um, okay. So I I had been like sad i had been just out of it i didn't want to do anything that's why we didn't record yesterday like we usually do because we i was just like i can't record i can't be funny i can't be in a good mood i'm just not here and i was like nothing is helping like i i'm i am stuck in a place nothing is helping i tried to listen to some glorilla but that didn't help because I listened to that on the way to the polls. So i tried to listen to some lotto i tried to listen to some a little upbeat right nothing was helping you was trying to fuck all morning. And I was like, no, I'm not there. Like, can I just have some time? And I gave you time. You gave me time. I went, I forgot what I did. I was trying to get myself together to record because we thought we were going to record. And I looked at you and I was like, you want to have sex? And you was like, yes. So happy. I did not realize. That I was going to have sex with you? You just thought I was going to say no? You no. thought you was going to present a filet mignon in my no. face, and I'm like, no, 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 no. No. Give me the letters. No, I thought that I didn't know that it would make me feel better. Like, it was such a good orgasm, which so, you don't get to say that a lot. You don't get to say orgasm a lot. Sometimes people become, and then they, you know. But it was so good that I woke up I, like, I came out of it on the other end of it, like, oh, I got a little energy. Wait a minute. My dick did that? I don't know. No, it was your dick, <laughs> but was it a combination of, was it endorphins? Like, what is it exactly that released? Something came out of me. No, Stop. it didn't. You don't squirt. I don't Ain't squirt. Ain't nothing but came that out. Stuff still comes out, baby. Still, that's how your body works. Oh, it drools. But You're right. something came out of me. Where it like released some tension and it was crazy because when I got in the car, it, it wasn't even noon yet. And I felt like I had so much day on me in the beginning of that day. I felt like this whole day is just, I'm just going to be like this all day. I felt like I was going to be sad longer. 
Mm. And then I got in the car. It wasn't but new. I and I was saved like, you with my super dick. I said, I got so much day to be happy because of that nut. You welcome. I didn't know. <laughs> you are welcome. I had no idea. Like, I felt lighter. Mm. I mean, well, you kind of light anyway, so. I'm so- <laughs> kind of hard to you get know lighter. What? Yeah. I, felt, I felt different. Like, I went into the day forgetting what the day was. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> like, I forgot. Hey, yo, if we ever break up, I still need to make sure that people hear this. You going to record it and cut it out? Oh, listen, I'm just going to put out there. When, like, that's going to be on my billboard for sex Why? after we break up. What? I make you feel lighter. Lighter? I brighten up your day. Wait, first of all, are you putting out a billboard so you can get women? Yeah. If we break up. Are you that desperate? You have to put out a billboard? Listen, I'm over 40. I got kids. Mm-hmm. I don't got a good job. Like, I got I to gotta present something to the people. Okay. You know what right. I mean? You well, got to do what you got to do. Um, but, yeah. So, I, I didn't know that would do that for me, but it did. Mm. And I am thankful for that. I appreciate you. You are welcome. Because you knew what I needed, and I didn't know I need. I was like, I absolutely don't need no dick. I don't need dick at a time like this. I don't want no dick near me at a time like this. I'm so busy being a woman and being sad. <laughs> Here you go with a dick. You damn right. Oh my God. You welcome. See, see, if you take my offers more often, I didn't want to tell you your that. whole life would change. You won't even have depression I, anymore. I didn't want to tell you that because I was like, he is gonna run with this shit. But like, I literally run. I left. <laughs> at, you're not gonna run nowhere with your feet like that. But I literally like left out to go run errands or whatever I had to do, and I was like. Oh, wow. I'm in a better mood. You're welcome. You're welcome. Trust me more. Okay. Well, that's probably not going to happen. But, you know, I, for that moment, you knew what to do. And I appreciated you. She got sad at the polls until she jumped on my poll. All right. Wow. What? How long have you been working on that? A vote for me is a vote for free. Free what? Freedom. Freedom. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. You just wanted a reason to sing that. <laughs> is that why? A little bit. Because it wasn't that good of a saying. But that's fine. I just wanted you to know that that happens, and I am grateful. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> what is wrong? That makes me feel great. Like, it's going to be a great show. I, I feel it. I don't know. <laughs> it's J-Rod. Chris and Seville. And then we the podcast, the Fast Growing Podcast in Bolinbrook, Illinois. No, no horns? You sure it's not Bolinbrook? It, well, I don't see a W. That don't... Okay, baby. I think it's probably bowling. You think it's bowling? Bowling don't sound good. Bowling? No, that don't sound good they at all. Balling. No, baby, no. you are really balling. acting your age right They're now. They're not bowling. You got to chill the fuck I out. I was bowling. No, but. You know where you at in Illinois. <laughs> shout out to y'all. <laughs> shout out to y'all. Uh, big shout out going out to our delicious, fresh, never frozen sponsor, Factor, yeah. America's number one ready to eat meal delivery service. Mm-hmm. Head to factormeals.com slash ATWHS50 and use code ATWHS50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, we're going to have a great show today. We're going to be happy. We're going to be excited. No matter who you voted for, it doesn't fucking matter when you're here in ATWA. ATW land. Oh, see. I'm about just, to say the know, HS. All right. Yeah. I'm going to say the HS, man. I mean, man. you can also HS. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, let's get into my favorite part of the show. Bitches love this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Um, hey, man, keep, keep the... Uh, Keep the applause going, man, because I want to say shout out to y'all. Um, some people have been sending in some great uh, 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 top six things that y'all want us to cover. Um, also, shout out to everybody that jumps in the comments and uh, tells us how you hate our list and you these are the lists, these are the people that we should have said or whatever the case may oh, that's be. That's my favorite part. Yeah, like, man. we don't have six. There's only six on our list. Yeah, man. No, no, no. But people would be mad, especially the false subtle one when we didn't say Prince. Yeah. Oh, people were mad about that. Yeah, people yeah. were mad about that. But shout out to y'all. Keep sending them in, man. Keep hitting us up in our DMs. Keep hitting us up in the comments with your ideas for top sixes and we'll probably use yours, man. Mm-hmm. Um, but you came up with this one this week. Yes. Uh, this week's top Top six are the top six things you thought you would know by the time you were an adult. Yeah, there are a lot of things that when you're a kid, you're like, I'm just automatically going to get to an age where I understand exactly what's happening. And I haven't 
I don't know if I've gotten to that age yet. I get that. I get there are a lot of things that, like, when you're a kid, you think that adults have, I don't know, a manual or something to tell you how to do life. You just think that a lot of adults know everything. Like, you think that they know more than anybody. I remember like, when I realized my parents didn't know shit. What happened? Um, I was in college. And uh, I was in one of my one of my professor's offices, and well, no, we was in a classroom actually. And he literally said, uh, "Your parents aren't right all the time. Your parents don't know everything." Yeah. And when he said it, for some reason, I was like, "Huh? <laughs> they don't know <laughs> everything." <laughs> and then I started thinking about the things at. And I was only like 18. Mm -hmm. So I started thinking about the things that I knew they were wrong about. Mm -hmm. And my list kept going. And I was like, oh, shit, he is correct. Yeah. And that went on like a four or five year period of me not listening to my parents about shit. Like nothing. I didn't listen to anything they said from that, that moment on. That checks out. Yeah, man. Because I was like, y'all wrong. Y'all don't, don't know. I don't really have a time where I remember. I just know that like in my day-to-day -day life, there are things that I encounter that I guess I encountered when I was younger where I'm like, oh, what were they talking about? Right, right. Like, that doesn't make any sense or that's not what I would have done or, you know what I mean? That's no, not the best definitely. way to approach that situation. Definitely. There's um, so many things that parents say that are terrible, adults say that are terrible, and you just don't fucking know it because you're young. But, you know, these are the top six things yeah. that you thought you would knew you, you would, would know, know. Yeah. by the time you were an adult and you uh you still don't know that shit. Yeah. Um you wanna start? I'll start. We'll start. I'll start. All right. So number six. Insurance. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I don't understand that shit at all. And the thing is, I worked in insurance for <laughs> <laughs> I worked there for about six years. And I did not I didn't progress. They wanted me to be like a loan officer and all this other shit. Mm -hmm. Well, they told me they wanted me to be, but they also never progressed me. But that was a whole different thing um, because I wasn't whatever. I was black. So um, <laughs> they, they didn't progress me the way that they wanted to, but they kept trying to teach me the things mm -hmm. so I could know. Maybe they didn't progress you because when they was trying to teach you shit, you just wasn't getting it. Um. No, because I didn't even go through with the actual classes. Like, I didn't... Oh, it, damn. They were... I didn't do any... They didn't... Whatever. It's a long story. But regardless, I didn't understand that shit. Mm -hmm. I still don't understand that shit. Like, I would have... They would have sat me down and, like, been like, this is exact... They would just throw things at me. So You maybe know insurance that's why, is easy, right? But maybe because the way that they would just throw things at me, like, you should understand this. I didn't sit down in the class and, like, learn shit. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why I didn't. Because I didn't get, like, actual, like... Real life, I, I don't know. Yeah, but as an adult, you should understand, like, the basic thing of insurance. No, I get You pay money every month, and that covers you just in case something happens. Now, no, when I, it comes to... No, I get to, it, but I don't understand. Uh, what don't you understand? I guess I don't understand why you need it. Because shit costs money. Like, things are super expensive. You so know insurance... what's going to happen right now is you're going to explain stuff to me, and they're going to look at me like I'm stupid as fuck. That's well, fine. You explain the stuff to me that I don't understand, and I'll explain the stuff to you that you don't understand. Well, the things I don't understand is just because I don't understand life. Yeah, well, that makes yeah. sense. Okay. So, you know. I, and you know what? Who am I? Mm -hmm. Who am I mm -hmm. to tell you that you can't not understand insurance? Mm -hmm. You can't not understand. I don't know, baby. I just maybe I blank out. I see numbers and I black out and I'm like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> and that's always been me. Every time numbers come up, I'm like, fuck no, I'm not doing that. All right. I got I gotta get on board though. I gotta get more on board. All right. Um Listen, so there's that. Yeah. You you only 37. <laughs> don't do this to me. You, you only did. Don't do that to me. It's all good, man. Yeah. These are the top six things that you thought you would know by the time you were an adult. Number five, bedtime. You know, as a youngin, mm. I really thought I understood what bedtime was. That's the time that people say you should go to bed. Mm -hmm. When I got older, I realized why bedtime was important. Mm -hmm. But I still don't understand why is it when I set a bedtime, A, I can't go to sleep at that time. But B, when I don't set a bedtime, I wish I set a bedtime. It's like the bedtime itself is an enigma. 
You know why I can't explain this to you? Because I don't understand what the fuck you're talking about. Like, okay. My parents set a bad time for yes. me when I was younger. Yes. And I would go to bed mm -hmm. and I'd be mad. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But the older I got, I was like, well, maybe I need a bedtime. Mm -hmm. But when I was set the bedtime thinking that it was going to help me, mm -hmm. it never did. It never did. Why didn't it? Because either I would stay up too late. Like, for instance, when I'm about, we were about to take a, a long trip, mm -hmm. I'll set a bedtime. Mm -hmm. I say, I'm going to bed by 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. I get into bed and I'm just up there just twiddling my fucking thumbs. But if I don't set a bedtime, I'm tired as fuck. Mm -hmm. Maybe because you rebel on everything, your body is like, mm -mm, not going to bed at 8 30. Mm. Nope. Mm -mm. Your body, it, like, it's in you to be like very um, combative and just. Uh, what is what's the word? Angry black man. What's no like your body is combative. Like I don't know how to explain. What's the word? Nah, you call me an angry. Where black you man. just choose the opposite of everything. Uh, a uh, I am a contrarian. Yes, that's a great word. That's what college is for. You <laughs> are such a contrarian <laughs> that your body like won't even allow. It's natural for you to just say no to everything maybe you've set your own rules but because there are rules your body is like i'm not doing that Fuck them rules because somebody told me to do it like in you because you're bipolar one side of you yo you gotta stop bringing up my bipolar <laughs> man but look one side of you said we have a bedtime and the other side said i'm not doing that shit who was this nigga you don't think that works there though that was funny, right? I have feelings. So do you believe that or not? A little bit. But okay, I have, I right. have feelings, though. I wasn't using it in a way. The way I used it made sense. I don't give you. a damn. Well, I have. I got multiple. All right. Don't worry about it. Um, so that's where I'm at. Whatever. That's where I'm at for you. These are the top six things you thought you would know by the time you were an adult. Number four. Text. You don't understand insurance, and you don't understand taxes. <laughs> taxes. Like, you say this all the time, and I'm going to say it to you. What What did you do when I wasn't around? Can I also say something else? I also worked in taxes. I worked at H&R Block. Who the fuck was hiring you? <laughs> my mama. My mama oh my was God. the manager at the H&R Block, and I worked with her. Um. I, I mean, I, I've i never done my taxes myself. I've never done them myself. It must be pretty nice. What? To be a woman. You could go and get them done. What are you talking about? Anybody can go and get taxes done. Oh, okay. You're right. You're right. Like, I, yeah, I've never right. done them myself. I've just gone and got my taxes done. And I you would trust the people because most of the time it'd be like my mom or mm. somebody else that I worked with. Okay. I wasn't doing taxes. Let me throw that out there. I worked in the tax office. I wasn't doing taxes. What the I was, fuck were you doing? I was like five, answering answering phone calls, filing shit. I was the assistant to the lady that did um, taxes. out of state taxes. Okay. Um. So I did a lot of like you know that kind of stuff. But I never sat down and wanted to learn how to do it. And I never felt like anybody was jipping me because a lot of times it was my mother or like my boss or whatever that would do my taxes. So I felt okay. And it was, and this boss was like a, she's like a close family friend. So it was like, I was secure with that, but I've never sat down and been like, all right, let's fill this out. I've never done that. I'm sorry. But I mean, I, I, so that's what it is about insurance and tax. I understand the need for insurance. Okay. I, understand mostly the need for taxes. I don't understand the need for taxes. I don't I I, I mean I understand what I mean like I get the it, reason that they're saying we need to pay taxes. Right. I right, get right. that. But I don't understand how to go about doing when, them. Yeah. When I get when I see numbers I black I can't fucking do it. You you said that before. But that what? works for everything. What? Like I can't fill out sh I don't it's it's too much for me. What's the word when you like dyslexic but for numbers? Baby I don't what? Is there a word for that? I think so. I don't know. Or maybe it's still dyslexic. I don't think it's... No, that's like... No, my mother's dyslexic. It's not... No, it's not and the same thing. And she does taxes? No, but that's not the same thing, oh, baby. God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. That's not the same thing. But, um, yeah, no, I. it's something about numbers. It's literally, like, overstimulating me. It's too much. I can't... I will... I'll go to sleep. Ugh, like that. What? 
<laughs> Nothing. Like, it'll be like five, uh, like that. Nothing. It's like, it's a lot. You know what's so funny about marriage? Mm. When you get married to somebody and you've picked your life mate, you quickly realize that either one, the other person knows how to do it or you got to learn how to fucking do it quick. And with you, there were so many things that I really didn't know how to do until I got with you. And I was like, well, I better, better fucking learn. Well, like what? Like insurance. So you, I thought you had done insurance before that, though. No. no well, I I, did, I I used to work at a um, I used to work at a, a, a call center for the hospital where I would collect insurance. So I understood that portion, but I never understood like PPOs, HMOs, and all of the other stuff. I never understood that until we got together and I had to actually pick plans. But and here's stuff. also the thing though, like you don't know it and I don't know it. So it's yeah, not- no, no, I know it now. But I'm saying it's not more on me because you didn't know it either. You right. learned it. But I realized I had to learn it because you didn't know shit. You didn't know shit either. Y yeah, but I had to learn it. And that's the funny thing about marriage. I Once know, you but pick so your why, person. But why is it on me? To like, learn something? No, why is it on me? Because I didn't know how to do it. So it's like, no, oh, she don't know how to do it. They, they, why did I, you expect just a me lot, to learn how to do it? There's just a lot of things that I just didn't know until I got with you. And I was like, I guess I got to know how to do this. Like, there's so many. They, but I could have done that. You do you see what you I'm saying? You just said I didn't, you black out when you see numbers. Yeah, well, I maybe I had to. I mean, regardless, if I wasn't with you, I'd have to figure out something either way. But if you learn how to do it, then I'm fine. That's where being a woman comes into play. But it's but you're putting it more on me. Like you also didn't come in ignorant no, to some no, of this no, shit. No, I'm not putting it on you. I wasn't. I wasn't making that statement saying that it was more on you than me. Okay. But what I'm saying is that it's just funny how you no know, when y'all get together. All of the knowledge is there. And whatever the fuck you don't know, you better find the fuck out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. when it comes to marriage, like, you you just got, you got to know. Yeah. You got to yeah. know. So you hope you meet somebody with a lot of things that they know. But that's like coming into a marriage and not doing things and starting to do them because nobody else is doing them. Your partner isn't doing them or your partner doesn't usually do them. Yeah. It's the same thing. You you learn regardless. Marriage is wild, son. Yeah, I mean, you should, I, I should know this Everybody things. should get married early and then divorce and then marry like, again. No, I don't put that, no, I don't tell, I don't want to nobody your, your first marriage should happen like at 18 and let there be a trial run mm -mm. so you can learn all the other things you need to know as, a, as, a, as an adult. No, I think you, there are things you're supposed to know. Like, I, there are plenty of people I know that know all these things. I just never... And you was just the one saying, I, fuck it. I always had things in, like, situations where I didn't have to learn it. And I know that's fucked up. People are going to be like, you're not, you're not an adult. You need to be doing... I understand that, but, like, I didn't have to for so long. I get it. No, I, I get how you got here. Yeah. I it, it, it's I had other things that I was doing, and then I didn't have to do that for so long. And eventually, you're like, okay, well, maybe I need to learn this. But you never said that. In my mind, I did. <laughs> and, then you, and I should learn it. You know what I mean? Just so I can know it. But you started doing it. I was like, fuck. I got to shit had to get done. I know that. And that's fine. But then my mama's still here, yo. <laughs> like, I mean, if she won't do taxes, like, I know people. But, yeah. Oh, man. These are the top six things that you thought you would know by the time you were an adult. Number three. Should have been number one to me. Um, matter of fact, no, I'm going to save that for number one. Uh, number three, school. I thought that I understood what school was for mm -hmm. as a child. Mm -hmm. That's because they tell us what they what school is for. And, yeah. And then I figured once I got a little older, I was like, no, by the time I get out of school, it'll make sense. Mm -hmm. And it never did. Mm -hmm. It never fucking did. Like school to me, and and this is why I don't encourage you to have younger kids listen. Um, <laughs> school for me is really a situation where you know you go to school for one or two reasons. One, you know exactly what you want to do, and you're going to go and 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 get that degree because that degree is the only way you're gonna be able to do mm -hmm. what you want to do. Or you go to school just to have something to do. Yeah. Some people do, which is a waste of money. Right. 
And when I went to school, it was not because I had something something to do, but it definitely wasn't because of I I knew that I needed a degree to do what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was just in this weird limbo for so long. And then once I really realized, oh, shit, I can use school for this, it was too late. I was out. Damn. Yeah, man. Yeah. But I really thought I would, I thought by an adult, school would just make so much sense to me. And it doesn't. I was having a conversation with someone the other day. I don't remember who it was. And we were talking about is, uh, is high school necessary? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Middle school is definitely necessary. Is high school necessary? And I was on the fence. What? I was on the fence. I was like, there's so many things that you learn in high school, but even if you're getting a job right out of high school, you really don't need to know that shit. What? They teach you things like history, algebra, maybe, but you don't really use yeah, algebra. Yeah, so ever. you can, well, for one, you can under, like, with history and government and stuff, you could try to understand the government a little bit more because you are, that is something and that. And obviously, I'm just saying, people don't understand I'm the just, government. They give you the basics, is what I'm saying. <laughs> they give you the basics. But none of it is used, mm -hmm. is what I'm saying. Well, some of that knowledge is used, you just don't realize it's used. Like what? In like high, the in government thing. Like you get into the world and that's something that affects you at some point. I remember going to government and being, I was, I was interested in government mm -hmm. as a high school student. But the knowledge that I have about the government, mm -hmm. the very, a very small amount of it came from yeah, I'm high with school. You. I'm kind of there. With yeah, you. I'm saying I'm like around. I don't, I don't know if high school is completely necessary. Well, I you think also build, you build relationships in high school. You build, you learn about the clubs and so, stuff like you that. You learn social a lot skills. of social skills. You learn social school. skills. But what I will say is that if I could redo the world. Mm -hmm. I would make uh, uh, elementary and middle school mandatory, mm -hmm. uh, junior high school, whatever it is. Um, and for high school, I would either, if you're going on a path to college, mm -hmm. you have to go to high school. But if not, then you go to a trade school. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and so by but the time But a lot of things 18, they're not going to let you do. By the time you're 18, you would go for the same amount of time at the trade school. Mm. And by the time you're 18, you can go out there and work the trade that you actually know instead of starting a trade school after high school. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I would just focus on that stuff alone. And if you're going to college, then you focus on that alone. But you got to know what you want to do in college. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just I just feel like cer certain steps are not necessary. And if you go back and you look at the reason why these things were necessary and implemented and you go back and you look at the uh like this, the statistics of people graduating high school back 30, 40 years ago, it's it's a lot skewed because jobs were available at 18 and a whole lot of stuff that I can go into that I'm not going to because it bore you guys. Mm -hmm. But I I thought I would understand school a lot better when I became an adult and I did it. Yeah. So there okay. you go. Uh, these are the, oh shit. These are the top six uh, things that you thought you would know by the time you were an adult. Number two... Sam's Club memberships. <laughs> <laughs> BJ's. Siri, what? shut the fuck up. I don't know. <laughs> BJ's and Sam's Club memberships. Mm. I did not. I, I still don't. Mm -hmm. I go in there. I, I got one. Got a BJ's one. You know, shout out to them. Mm -hmm. But why am I doing this? Why can't we just buy shit in bulk like that? Period. Why can't you just go in and be like, I just need a whole shitload of rice. I need mad chips. <laughs> you know what I mean? I need a box of Cheez-Its. I go crazy for Cheez-Its. Why can't I do that? Why do I have to also pay you a membership to come shop there? Yeah. There are so many big families that are out here that just got a shitload of kids or people that are plant, like planted event. They got something. I understand Restaurant Depot. That's different. You're dealing with restaurant quality stuff that a lot of the times you probably need a you need something to be able to go buy. I I mm -hmm. get that. But BJ's and Sam and the fact that there's a BJ's and a Sam's Club, bitch, it's the same shit. Nah, it really isn't. It it so there it's the same idea, but there are certain differences. There there are a couple of differences I read up on this. I don't care. Okay. My main issue is buying in bulk. 
<laughs> because even if I go buy like a variety pack of chips, even if I go buy a big one from like a regular grocery store or something like that, it costs more than the ones that I could buy and get more at BJ's or something like that. You're right. And why am I paying for a membership to walk in there that don't even buy the groceries? You're right. That's just saying I can come in there and get the shit. Why am I paying for that? Especially because if you in there, nine times out of ten, you ain't got a lot of money because you got all these goddamn kids. Do you need to just buy in bulk? Period. And they got samples. Like, why can't I just go have a good Saturday? I got to pay you to come have samples. Bitch, give me the whole thing. If you're going to do that, if I'm going to have to pay to get samples, bitch, give me the whole thing. Give me a free box of the chicken nuggets as soon as I walk in there. Goddamn. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. That was a big one for me. I was really upset about it because I was looking at my BJ's card, and I was like, bitch, why do I have you? <laughs> why? And you know what's crazier? And wait, I'm going to get away from it. But on Instacart, mm -hmm. they have Sam's Club and BJ's, and anybody can fucking buy from them. They will still deliver it to your house. Oh, damn. You don't need a membership. Why the fuck am I paying to walk in the building? You might have just told the, uh, that, that that might be a, a, a cheat code, man. That's crazy. But no, the only thing that's a slightly like crazy about it is you still have to pay like the fee mm -hmm. for delivery, mm -hmm. the delivery fee for Instacart in general, but you don't need a card to shop off that shit. They just bring it to your house. Yeah, that might be the cheat code. You and I know all them Instacart shoppers don't have a fucking Insta uh, BJ's card. So mm -hmm. how the fuck are they going in there and buying the shit? I don't know, baby. But like I said, you just put some information out there. <sighs> fuck. Am you I going to get in trouble? Knowledge. Am I going to get in trouble? I don't think so. This okay. is a good thing. I just want to make sure they don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't make this a clip and it go viral. And they was like, oh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> that nigga BJ was like, stop everything. <laughs> <laughs> stop everything. Who BJ? Yeah. BJ. BJ there. We're going to find out he who listening. BJ is. Yeah, hell yeah. But <laughs> that shit don't make no sense to me. Oh, wow. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Well, these are the top six things that you thought you would know by the time you were an adult. Number one. I thought I would know how to be a parent by the time mm, I was an adult. That's a big one. <laughs> that's a big one. I just did. I thought that when you become an adult, you 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 just get the knowledge of parenting. Yeah. It just falls upon you. Because you a kid and you like, this is what I would do if I was a parent. Yeah, pretty much. And then you have kids and you're like, what the fuck are they doing? What am I doing? <laughs> fuck them. What am I doing as a parent? Yeah. Okay. Like, have you ever. Mm. So. <laughs> mm. You remember, you remember about two weeks ago, mm -hmm. I the, the big boy. Mm -hmm. Big boy didn't do good on the test. Mm -hmm. And I had been telling him to study, 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 study. He's not studying. He doesn't care. Mm -hmm. Gets this terrible grade. And I'm like, I got to do something. Mm -hmm. And when you're younger, you think that uh, uh, punishments just come to you like that. Man. But when you're an adult and you're parenting, punishments do not just fly off the top of your head. They sound dumb when you say them. They really do. Yeah. And they look dumb when you do them. So I walk... <laughs> I walked in the room yeah. and I said, you know what? You know what? I'm tired of this. I'm taking your TV. And I went and I grabbed this <laughs> huge 50 inch TV like in my hand. And then I had to wrap it up. I, I was wrapping up the wire trying to get it together. And then I'm walking cockeyed trying to get out the room. And he's just looking at me like. This this is what he wanted to do. Yeah, like, I could tell he knew I was failing as a parent at that moment. You know what's crazy? Because it take you some time to wrap the cord around. Yeah, and, so now you just sitting in the room wrapping it. He just no, I was trying like, to find words. To, and, and, and another thing, and you know, you I told you, <laughs> you know, and, and this was a long cord too. I had to wrap it around like four five times. You got like, to find new things to say yeah. just to eat up your time while you in the room. I, I'm so I'm looking around the room. Yeah, you, you, you make up your bed. <laughs> Because that's part of the problem, too. You don't make up your bed. God damn, this cord is long. Is that lint on your ceiling fan, too? <laughs> you just looking at everything. Get the dust buster. You better get up. Why are you sitting there looking at me wrapping this cord? <laughs> get the fuck up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just parenting and punishments and just in general is hard. 
parenting doesn't come with a manual that like they yes, they tell you everything about breastfeeding when you're in the uh after you had a baby but they don't tell you nothing about the parenting portion no if they're gonna send me home with a pamphlet about breastfeeding send me home with a pamphlet about parenting i was just the only thing i was thinking about was um our daughter is uh graduating early so she's going to college um early and I thought I had one more year to figure all this shit out. And she just keeps coming to me with college information, schools, things she got to fill out. And I didn't go to college. I don't know <laughs> none of this shit. And I'm sitting here trying to tell her things that I think are going to work. And she's like, no, mom, that's not what happens. And I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck to say to her. <laughs> How am I supposed to sound like the authority on whatever you're supposed to do out of school when I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. Comes out of nowhere. Man, especially parenting a, 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 a teenager. Oh my God, I'm so over it. It comes out of nowhere. <laughs> like one day they wake up and they're like, oh yes, I am a teenager and I know everything. I know all the things. There's nothing you can tell me. Matter of fact, other people can tell me better than you can tell no, me. No, they got this new thing out. What? Have you heard of Google? Oh, is that? And, mm -hmm. and TikTok? Yeah, it's really TikTok. And chat. GPT? It's really TikTok. Whatever they see on TikTok, that is exactly what is happening. That's law. Nobody could be lying to you on TikTok. There's I'm telling no you. And they come back with all these facts that sound good because it came over TikTok. Yeah, and they always make their videos real good. Yeah, and the creator got millions of dollars. Yeah, exactly. So. And you're like, damn, it, are they right? But you don't want them to be right regardless, yeah. even if they are. So you got to argue a point that you really don't know the answer to. It's, it's, it's a lot. That's a lot of shit. Going parenting on. is a lot, man. Don't and do it. The, you think you know it when you're a kid. Don't do when it. When you're an adult, it'll happen and it doesn't. I was very confident about being a parent once I became a parent because I was like, I love hard. I love people. I love kids. Like, oh my God, I'm going to protect them. That's the easy part. And that's the only part you think about is like, I can protect them if nobody else can protect them. Like, I love them so much, but like, they talk. <laughs> they start saying words and you just be like yo can you shut the fuck up I'm trying to protect you <laughs> stop talking god damn <laughs> oh man yeah. these were the top six things that you thought you knew by the time that you were an adult and obviously you don't still and if you have some things that you were just pondering about put in the comments and maybe we can all help each other out with this thing called adult my life my gosh man. and look I, I get people that are like, I've been a parent for such and such amount of years. So I know. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Every child is different. I'm not. I don't want to hear no more of that. Oh, I've been a parent for 47 years. Of course, I know what to talk about. No, you don't. You didn't parent this child. You yeah. parented other children. Yeah. So, I mean, their advice about specific things. I can take that kind of advice, but I don't want to know it all. That's like, this is exactly what you need to do. No, think about like the experience itself, not like a specific, like, I don't know. Every kid is different. And for some reason, God put in these kids, the things that you're terrible at, they going to want to press. Yeah. That, that's exactly your, what they want to do. Your particular kids. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure one of these like twins is going to want to be a scientist or some shit that oh, yeah. I know absolutely nothing about. Oh yeah. Listen, I, I, I've already given up with them. Yeah. Like I, I feel like if I feed them and bathe them and give them YouTube, They'll be able to learn whatever they need. They'll tell us what they need. Yeah. When <laughs> once they become older and that yeah. little frontal uh, lobe or whatever develop, mm. is it the frontal one? I don't know. It's whatever a it is, yeah. Um, when that develops, they're gonna be like, ah, all right, I'm fool me. So this is what I want. I'm well, Cameron does that now. He says, yeah. So. Well, never mind. He does. Yeah. He he Damn thinks. Man. He's a teenager in his little body. Oh, no, he absolutely is. Yeah, he absolutely yeah. is. He might so. be the biggest teenager out of all of them, man. <laughs> oh, the most gosh. responsible? He, well, he no. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's definitely the most responsible. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, let's get to the question of the day. Uh, today's question of the day, real easy, real short and simple. Best way to quit a job? Best or most creative way to quit a job? I'm just going to go from experience. I just said, I'm going to go. And I it? did that for two jobs. I did it for when I was a waitress or a server at uh, Ruby Tuesday. Mm -hmm. They was getting on my fucking nerves. We had got a new manager. Me and him, he was like the district manager at first, and then he became our GM. And me and him butted head, heads all the time because he was he just he was a little sassy. He just knew what the fuck he was talking about, and it was like no, Kristen, da, 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 whatever. It was just very. Mm -hmm. 
he thought he knew what he was talking about. And it's almost like he wanted to compete with my energy. And I was like, all right, nigga, like, we here. Let's go. <laughs> and so we butted heads all the time. And then we got to one day where he just tried to put all this shit on me. And I was like, I'm leaving. He's like, well, I was like, I'm going to go. And I just left. And they fucking hired me back. Oh, they I needed some money a little bit later. And I was <laughs> like, hey, can I just come work for a couple months? And they hired me back. Um, and I did it at a call center. Well, they tried to fire me, and I was like, I'm going to just... You worked at a call center? I worked at a call center for, like, two weeks. Oh, okay. And then they called me in there. They, were, they weren't trying to fire me. They were trying to evaluate me. And I was like, <laughs> how about I'm going to go? And they said, what? I said, I'm going to just go. I'm going to get my stuff, and I'm going to go. Oh, wow. And I went to my desk. I started packing my shit up. They loved me there. So they were like, where are you going? I was like, I'm going to leave. <laughs> because you're not going you're not gonna to evaluate me in front of my face like this. Nah, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna tell me what I'm doing right and wrong. Yeah, you ain't gonna tell me how to talk to people, bitch. Get out of my face. I know how to talk to people on the phone. <laughs> I can read. Matter of fact, I'm gonna call somebody right now. Yeah, I can read a transcript and talk to people. Get the fuck out of my face. Damn. Um, damn. You know, I quit a job and didn't realize I was quitting the job. Like it was a process. Um, I was working at the radio station mm -hmm. and um I for some reason, it was the last time I worked at a radio station. And for some reason, I just didn't want to do it anymore. I was like, this is boring. This is just a waste of time. Radio, people don't hardly listen to it anymore. I remember this. Like, I was just done. So I would go in there for, at the beginning of my shift, and I would just pre-record all of my stuff, which is normal. Mm -hmm. However the the uh the program director wanted me to stay there for my entire shift. Yeah. But I'd go there for about 30 minutes, record my entire show, and I would leave. Mm -hmm. And I kept doing this. Um and then one day I said, I'm gonna take a trip. I'm gonna take a trip. So I told them, hey, I'm going to take a trip. And I went and took my trip and came back and Monday went by, I didn't go in. Tuesday went by, I didn't go in. By Thursday, the boss calls me. He's like, hey, you back from your trip? And I was like, yeah. He was like, so you coming in? And I was like, I don't think so. And it had hit me at that moment that I had quit. I didn't even realize I had quit. I knew you had quit. I didn't know I had quit, though. I knew, because every day you did not want to go in there. <laughs> he was like, this shit is not the same. And you would be there the whole shift, and you'd be like, it's fine. That's your favorite thing. It's fine. It's fine. They, they fine. I, I recorded everything. Nobody's going to call. They don't call no more. Oh, yeah. Like, I would come home super early, yeah. man. Yeah. This I is back that. when, uh, this is during pandemic, as a matter yeah. of fact. And when people could have listened to the radio because they didn't have shit else to yeah, do. Yeah. They still wasn't listening. I'm yeah, calling man. in. Like, nah. I was like, nah, this is not for me yeah. anymore, man. Yeah. Um, let's get into your answers. I only got a couple in here. Uh, what's the best or most creative way to quit a job? Had a cake made that said it was nice working with you, but fuck you, you all. I'm out. Mm, Damn. That, I mean, at least you got a cake. Yeah, that I mean, you gave them a cake. That Somebody nice. said, give them a today notice. That's Damn. funny. Instead of two weeks, Damn. you get a it. Today, I get it. Okay. I get it. Um, best way: stop showing up. Fuck them niggas. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, fuck your boss. No, and don't read that one. Wait, wait. What does that even mean? Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, do the bare minimum until they fire you and collect unemployment. That's somebody else said that. I mean, that is. Hey, that is. I'm not mad at that at all. Yeah, deleted all the appointments in the hospital on my last day of active duty. Fuck them. Damn. <gasps> Ooh, that's crazy. Hey. hey. <laughs> Hey, they were scrambling for about a week. Damn, that's crazy. Not at the hospital. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Uh, somebody said climb out the bathroom window. <laughs> um, walk the fuck out during the most hectic time and turn your phone off or leave for lunch and don't go back. That That's my shit. What, leaving for lunch or not? Nah, coming? when it's real busy, oh, fuck something quitting? up. Oh, that's my shit. Oh, man. That's my shit. Enough time has passed. Um, I think... I, I don't know if I've ever admitted this, but when I was working in insurance, they tried to fire me because mm -hmm. they was like, you fucking up stuff. Basically, they were like, you, you trying to delete stuff and you um, uh, messing up the sketch. Like they thought I was doing all of these things to kind of like um, sabotage them. Were you? Yeah, I was I was I was doing so much. I deleted the fuck out of all these in, like all these things I input because I knew they were trying to fire me. 
it was like my last two weeks and I was like, fuck them. So I just started deleting shit, not doing shit. And then I tried to act like I was the victim when they had my box in the conference room talking about coming here. <laughs> and I was like, what are you talking about? They were like, we keep going in there and like things are deleted. You know, <sighs> you some process and stuff that you did is just not in there. And I was like, I don't know what y'all talking about. I didn't do that. And my manager at the time. Uh, Wait, who, was this why you were pregnant? Um... Yeah, I was pregnant. Uh, my manager at the time, that me and her was cool, but she had to be a manager in the moment. And she was like, Kristen, I'm seeing some things that aren't in there that I know you did. And I was like, no, you don't. I, I did everything I needed to do. Why would I do that? I need these two weeks. Do you guys know that I remember, I remember this, Damn. but she played the victim even with me. Because I had to, I, if everyone around me believed me and got mad about it, then y'all would stand by me. I left L.A. to come be with you because I was like, oh, man, she just got fired from the job and she didn't deserve to get fired. But here's the thing. I should let me come be with her because I didn't deserve it. It was I had you put did. In, I had put in my two weeks. They should have had somebody right behind me. Doing Wait, you something. put in two weeks notice. I had put in two weeks. They had fired me within a couple of days. You, you didn't even tell me. I'm telling you right now. I put in two weeks. They had fired me probably like a couple days. Oh, in. my God. But here's also the thing. They didn't want me there anymore. They also didn't want me there because I was being an... I, I was kind of being an asshole because they talked to us any kind of way. They would talk to me any kind of way. They would just let... just. It was a lot of racial stuff that went on in there. So they would talk to me any kind of way. I had been there for years, everything. They were calling you a jigaboo or something? No, it was just a lot of people that weren't advancing that weren't their race. Okay. So, basically everybody <laughs> that wasn't. <laughs> um, so, it was just while shit happening or they put work on me that I wasn't supposed to do. Um, just because, like, the boss's son would want to, like, leave work early or go do some shit. Like, he would just put stuff on me. And I was like, I don't give a fuck about these people. Like, I'm tired of this shit. I've been nice for too long. I don't give a fuck. So I started deleting shit. You need it done. This you is, need to come in here and do the shit. This is also when her shows for stand-up was ramping up. So she probably said... I was going crazy. I was going crazy on the bookings. I was always out. So I didn't give a fuck about that money. Mind you, she's, like, three months pregnant with twins... But at the time, you also hormonal. It's like a lot going on in your body. <laughs> and I, if we be honest, I think Cameron said, quit this shit. <laughs> I think Cameron was in my belly and was like, mommy, we don't need this shit. <laughs> we don't need this shit. And I left. So fuck them. Oh, my gosh. But Red. yeah. What's the best or most creative way to quit a job? Uh, used to be an assistant manager at a Burger King. One employee kept calling in, so another manager scolded him in front of everyone for being unreliable, like went off. Dude called out again, but sent pictures of, of his date with the other manager's girlfriend. She dropped the manager off at work that night and came to pick him to pick him up two and a half hours late. Wow. Damn. All right. Um, mm -mm -mm. how about always being found asleep on the job? Some would say they were fired, but I would say they quit. Oh man. I used to fall asleep at a job and it was bad. Like it was like my first big boy job mm -hmm. and, um, they would have, what me, was the job? What, what did the job? Uh, I was, I was working billing and, um, for the hospital, mm. working billing for the hospital. And, um, my shift was super easy during the week, but in, on the weekends, they would have me come in at 8 a.m till like what two or four p.m mm -hmm. something like that and um 8 a.m to like 4 p.m no no lunch no nothing you just had to be at your computer and you had to make it work mm -hmm. um and i was a college student at the time yeah my friday nights you were out. lit yeah you out so when i would come in on saturday mornings i would just go to sleep I would literally go to sleep to about 10 or 11 a.m. But you didn't give a fuck about that job. You fucked at the hospital. No, no, no. That wasn't there. Oh, it was a different hospital. No, same same hospital structure, but I was in the billing department mm. one time. And then I left there and went into the actual hospital. Mm. Yeah, because okay. I thought I can't fall asleep there. But I was working overnights mm. at the actual hospital. Mm. And the only reason I was fucking mm. was to stay awake. Yeah, because you didn't have nothing else to do. Yeah, because I would fall asleep. Yeah, that's crazy. Because for you, most nuts put you to sleep. 
So you try you try to tell me my pussy ain't good enough to keep you awake, huh? <laughs> That's fine. Don't worry about it. I don't care. I don't care. Nah, I'm trying to say that they pussy wasn't good enough to knock me out. Oh, uh-huh. okay. Yeah, All right. you see? Um, what is the best or most creative way to quit a job? I had my brother call me and I started crying at the computer and told them my cousin passed. Oh, I used shit. a recent death in the community as the cousin. I walked out of my job. When they called me a week later to confirm my work schedule, I told them I wasn't coming back. Damn, man. Y'all can't be using people's deaths. Why not? But she did use an actual death. Yeah. So maybe, okay. I've done it before. But you're not supposed to do that. You're you know what I mean? I'm about to get out of because my... Never mind. Oh, that's fucked up. But that's a real one, baby. That's really... Exactly. So it's kind of not lying. I know someone who did it by delivering a pizza that spelled out, I quit. (laughs) And pepperoni. That's cool, man. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, Last one. Uh, Walked out with two middle fingers held high and cussed out my boss. Wouldn't recommend it, but was very satisfying. That's a great way to go. go. Yeah, man. That's a great way to go. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Um, Let's take a pause for the cause real quick. Okay. Um, We have a slight pause. Um, Guys, it's the end of the year is winding down. Um, So, like, you know, stuff is happening. We are kind of out doing a couple of shows. Just a couple. Not nothing too crazy. Um... But first of all, baby, is is this first one on sale? Um, so save this date. Philly. I don't know if we we didn't tell y'all this last week, right? So we're coming back to Philly. End of the year. Everybody's been asking us to come to Philly, but we're doing a different venue. We're doing the very first venue that we ever did when we came to Philly a couple years ago. December 14th, we're gonna be at Helium in Philly. So December 14th, we're gonna be at the Helium. In Philly. Usually we come to City Winery, but the very first venue that we ever came to was the Helium. We had such a good time. I hope y'all come out there. It's very, uh, like, an intimate feel. Um, And it's going to be fun. So uh, if you missed it last time, come. Even if you came last time, come. Anyway, it's the end of the year. Um, But tickets should be on sale very, very soon. Um, So just keep checking uh, to see if they're on sale. December 15th, the very next day, we're going to be in Raleigh, North Carolina at Good Nights. Get your people together. Tell them we coming to Raleigh, okay? We have a good time. Every time we come to Raleigh, it's just getting the word out. Y'all know this by now. We got to get the word out. December 19th, four days later. So it's going to be a busy couple of days for us. Uh, we're going to be in Virginia Beach at the Funny Bone. We're going to be at home at the Funny Bone. Tickets are all are on sale right now for Raleigh and Virginia Beach. Make sure you get those tickets. Um, especially home. I don't have we been home all year? We haven't been home all year. So um make sure you come out. Everybody's always asking us to come out and do a show at home, and we here. So get your people together, make it a night of it, like do a whole little thing before like uh Christmas come and you know, or Hot, whatever you whatever you celebrate and just do just come in December. <laughs> I don't know when all the holidays start. Y'all, the holidays is here. Just come out for the holidays and make sure uh, you know, you get your tickets, get your groups together, do all those things. Um, this Saturday, November 9th, I'm actually gonna be at the Rivers Casino in Portsmouth with Angela Johnson, but it's sold out. Just wanted to throw that out that I was, you know, doing something. So it's not like you could come unless you got tickets already. All right. Um, so those are our dates. Make sure y'all get your tickets. We really want to see y'all. It's the end of the year. We want to go out with a bang. So, uh, you know, do it. Do you like sweater weather and the way it feels so good to eat savory fall foods? But with your busy schedule, sometimes it can be hard to eat the way you'd like to. That's where Factor comes in. Their chefs do the shopping and the chopping to bring you fresh, never frozen, fully cooked meals right to your doorstep. All you have to do is heat and eat. All of their meals are dietitian approved, so you know you're getting the nutrition you need along with the fall flavors you crave. Factor helps me keep the kitchen time to a minimum, and they deliver fresh, delicious, and nutritious meals that are ready in two minutes. Literally two minutes. Two minutes in the microwave, two minutes. No shopping, prepping, cooking, or cleaning up. I love it. This fall, you've got a lot going on outside of the kitchen. Keep your plans and turn to Factor. Head to factormeals.com slash ATWHS50 and use code ATWHS50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. When it comes to meals, everyone wants the same thing. Options. That's why Factor offers 35 wholesome meals every week, including gourmet plus keto, calorie smart, 
vegan and veggie. So you'll always find something you love that suits your lifestyle. There's more to factor than just lunches and dinners. From easy breakfast and smoothies to delectable midnight snacks, Factor has over 60 plus add-ons to keep you fueled and focused 24-7. And with a plethora of flavors, you'll never get bored. Head to factormeals.com slash ATWHS50 and use code ATWHS50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code ATWHS50 at factormeals.com slash ATWHS50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. All right. Y'all know we've been talking about Factor for a long time, so it's it's very, very real. It's very real. It's delicious. It's, it's, it's good. And it's a time saver. Good gosh. I love Factor. Yeah. I love Factor. And um, <clears throat> with, uh, with my eating now, the Factor helps because it gives you like the perfect portion. Yeah, it does. Perfect portion. It does. Um, I, have, I just want to say this before we uh, get into the other topics. This is a pretty good topic. Oh, well, we're not in the topic show. Oh, okay. Well, something... All right. Yeah. All right. Um, something just popped up. I just want to know how your week was. <sighs> Man, you know, it was a week. Did we do anything this week? Um, What did we do this week? You were gone, right? Yeah, yeah I was gone. You I'll were gone. So I... Oh, my gosh. Um, I hope you didn't hear that. Uh, <laughs> no, I heard it. You were... <laughs> You were gone, um, so I was just home with the kids, just home with the kids, just doing regular stuff. Um, yes, it was election week, um, and I went and voted. I went and voted, played Glorilla the whole way there, and Dad didn't do shit. So uh, <laughs> um, we are, we are. I'm gonna keep it light. I'm gonna keep it light. It's just um, you can't not say anything about it. Um, there are a lot of people that feel however they feel. That's completely okay. Um, I think my only, I've just been sad for, there are a lot of things that won't affect me. There are a lot of things that um, people are scared about that won't affect me. I'm in a, um, I'm, I'm married. I've had all my children. Um, You're a citizen. Um, I'm a citizen. Like, it's a lot of things that won't. Uh, affect me but there are a lot of things that will affect me and there are a lot of things that will affect my kids so I'm just I, I am I am sad I've been sad but at the end of the day there's nothing that anyone can do everything's been done the only thing we can do is hope for the best and you know fight for things you believe in like there's not but so many things you could do I'm not You know what? Honestly, I don't think we'll divide our listeners that much if I, you know, me saying this one little thing. Um, because, I mean, if you hear, then you should probably already know how I feel about a lot of things. But I'm not mad at Republicans. I'm not. I'm, I'm not at all. It's, it's the man himself that I'm just not feeling easy about. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not a Republican or Democrat thing. It's not even that. It's because, it's, I mean, people have different beliefs. Believe what you want to believe, but it's it's the actual figurehead that I am nervous about, mm -hmm. and um, it to me feels like we're either we were either voting for a democracy or we were voting for a potential dictatorship, and that's what scares me more than anything. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I've, it's just been it's been a heavy couple of days, um, but. I had to like kind of get off of social media because that's all everybody was talking about. When we were looking for topics, the reason we didn't record yesterday is for one, I, I wasn't feeling up to it. But also we were looking for topics and everything was the election. You can't talk. There's nothing. There was hardly anything funny up there. There, there was hardly anything like just nuanced that we could talk about that had nothing to do with the election. It was really hard to find things to talk about. And it's hard to try to be funny when you don't even have a lot of material to work with. So um, we didn't want to just do an episode and then just be crying the entire episode. Not crying, but like, you know, just being bitching or being emotional or whatever. Um, so, but we knew we had to, we had to get an episode out regardless. Um, but I think that's, that's where my concern has lied, but also, and I've had to like tell my kids this, 
Um, cause my, I mean, they're old enough to at least like, listen, you know, pay attention a little bit. Um, my daughter's almost old enough to vote. Um, and she was like concerned about a lot of things, but we can't just let stuff like we have to find like, okay, this happened. Now what? It's kind of like one of those. Um, so yeah, that's where I've been. Um, and I keep saying the thing go around about people saying, uh, y'all are dumb basically for deleting people. Um, or if. You can't just delete people for political reasons. And, you know, you love these people beforehand. Why would you delete them now? And I don't all the way agree with that um, because I think that regardless of who it is or what position they take, if you're trying to preserve your mental health and seeing them constantly boast whichever side about what they're upset about or what they're like, some of the things are almost coming off like taunting or teasing where it's not it's not about unity. It's just like, yeah, we beat y'all now what? It's like that kind of energy and I don't like that. I don't I, I don't I don't want that kind of energy. I want a okay, we are working together. This is what we can do. Like that's the kind of energy we hope and pray for. That's not realistic because that's not how a lot of those people are coming off. They're just coming off very like aggressive like, now what you going to do? Like, yeah, he won and what? Like it's it, it, uh, shit feel it feels like a cult. The shit feels crazy. But um I think doing whatever to preserve your mental health is what you should do. I don't fault anybody for deleting people because of things that they may post. I ain't going to hold you. I just missed the days when people didn't talk about their political views. And we talked about that, too. I said, I knew, I posted this. I said, I I feel like I grew up at a time where people didn't talk about who they were voting for. But it's yeah, starting to feel religion. like. religion. Like, yeah, it's starting to feel like that, that Sinbad Genie movie that they said never happened. And I'm like, I could have sworn <laughs> that people didn't walk around all day, like, this is my personality. I'm a Democrat. I'm a Republican. Like, I, there are a lot of people, like, not that I've known for years that I didn't know how they thought about certain things. They just mm -hmm. treated me well, mm -hmm. which is, in a way, it's, it's, it's good to know. But also, like, I, nothing ever happened to me mm -hmm. where I had to second guess how I felt about them. Yeah, I'm, I'm very... Uh... I, I don't like talking about politics yeah, with people. I, I don't, don't like talking about religion with people. Um, I don't like talking about those kind of things that people hold strong to mm -hmm. in their beliefs because mm -hmm. a lot of times it will divide you and it will separate you from actually getting to know a person and mm -hmm. really being able to uh, engage with them yeah. on a level because you feel because they don't hold your same beliefs or values or truths that uh, there's an issue with them. And I, that's why I haven't said anything about it on, on, on Facebook or anything like that. I haven't really posted anything. I never said who I was voting for, mm -hmm. anything like that. Like I was, I'm very down the middle because it, it's not your business, first of all. And second of all, it doesn't fucking matter. Like at the end of the day, you put in your vote, you see who wins. And once you got the winner, it is what it is. And you still got to live. You still got to wake up the next day and you still got to go out there because the, the reality is you know, they're good. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're going to be okay. The the winner and the loser, they're going to be good. But it's us who have to live day by day that have to figure out how to make a way no matter who wins. I think that I want to add to that. There's a, there's, there is a, there is a, it's a gift and a curse knowing what people believe because um, for one, I mean, it does matter. I can understand. I understand right, right now it was important to, vocalized things because at the end of the day it was like the world was campaigning i was listening to um i think trevor noah's podcast and he said he was in switzerland and people were talking about it mm -hmm. and watching it like it was happening right there mm -hmm. like i can understand it but it's been like that since really since i mean I, people talk about it all the time but it's been this this crazy since trump ran the first time really mm -hmm. but i think um it in a way, is important to to know. I mean, to hear people talk about things because I've found that some people I know contradict themselves mm -hmm. because they say they believe in certain things, but I've seen them do the opposite. Like their actions have spoken different from the things that they've stood behind. Yeah, but people just people are just going to be people, and contradict contradiction is a part of human nature. Like no, just... I no, I know that. I'm just saying, like, 
you said something that made me connect all that stuff together. But it was just like, I, I like hearing it because sometimes they don't realize what they're doing. Like, sometimes you kind of got to bring it to their attention. Like, maybe you do agree with this because mm. you've done this or you've said this or whatever. Um, but like you said, at the end of the day, like, we can't... <sighs> It is it is doing a lot on people's mental health right now. No, I see. So it's just, and I think I think that's a problem, man. That I I I don't yeah. know. I don't know. You just but, gotta. But like I said, if you want to delete somebody, delete somebody. Nobody can make you feel bad about that. Like, no, don't make me feel bad if I delete. I've deleted a couple people, and I'm not even that person. That's like I gotta be around everybody that agrees with me. But some stuff has felt like bullying to the point that I'm like, even if I conceded to respect your decision you would still be on some like, now what shit? And I don't like that energy as a person. So I wouldn't just tolerate it from anybody. But there are people that I've stayed friends with that voted for him. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. Do I, whatever the fuck you want to do. Yeah. And it's Facebook and shit at the end of the day. Who gives a fuck if you, de- like, why are y'all so concerned about people deleting people because they want to? It's Facebook. Who gives a fuck? I don't know. It. Whatever. I have my own thoughts on that alone. But yeah, um, my week, my week, my week, my week hasn't been great. Um, I told you all last week that uh, my grandfather was sick um, and I went out there uh, last weekend to visit him uh, for the final time. Um, and yeah, he uh, he succumbed to his sickness. Um I think on election day or the day before election day, day one or the before. other. Um, so you know that. Um, yeah. That 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 sucked. Um, so you know, just been going through that and you know trying to uh, figure out next steps. Um, as far as he was the patriarch of the family, he was the oldest man yeah. in the family. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the last brothers, I think it was like nine of them. Nine, I think nine, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know, baby. Uh, well, you were there. You, I don't remember oh, the number. Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> it was it was like nine brothers and sisters all together, and there's only like one sister left. Um, everybody else has passed. Um, you know, um, it was good to it was good to see my family, and of course, I'm gonna see my family again for the funeral. Um, that's always you know the the bright side of death, mm-hmm. um, funerals and things of that nature. Being able to see your family and you know coming together to. Um, you know, just celebrate a person's life. Um, it's so funny. Uh, <laughs> we were we were in the hospital, me and my brother, um, and we were uh, he, at at this point he's knocked out. You know, can't respond or anything like that. And I'm thinking, you know, well, it is what it is. I'll never hear his voice again. Um, so we're in there and just just looking at him basically. And uh, I decided to walk out the room. And as soon as I got to the door, well, before I walk out the room, some doctors come in and they say, hey, how you doing? We just want to, you know, check his vitals, this and the third. I'm like, all right, do what you got to do. So I started walking towards the door to leave. Um, And as soon as I hit the door, I hear, get your fucking hands off me. (laughs) It's not funny. (laughs) I turn around and this man that has been down is up ready to fight and i was like oh shit he alive yes and then he went back down and uh that was it that is insane but that was his last watch. words get that your was his, fucking get hands, your fucking hands off, off, me. off me do you feel like that sums him up no oh, my right. grandpa was such a nice happy just All well right. damn you know, that was the part he showed me because I heard stories about my grandfather. Oh, so maybe to other people, they were like, yep, on yeah, brand. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that might have been on brand. Yeah. That might, because uh, for I, I was told one time he threatened to uh, shoot my, my great grandfather. Yeah, he could have been a killer yeah, for real. Yeah, you yeah, don't yeah, even know. Yeah, don't push him. Don't yeah. push him. Don't <laughs> that, push him. Wait. It's not funny, but it's like you on your last breath, and now you you can't mask shit. <laughs> you just yourself. You're like, who are these niggas in here touching me? You know what I mean? Get the fuck like that's yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was that that brought a. <laughs> Did y'all laugh after the fear went away? Because I didn't know what the fuck was happening. Because it was so strong. You know what I'm saying? Wow. It was so strong and. You know, after the fear left, I thought that shit was hilarious. When you thought about it, you was like, did he really just? Did he, did he snap? 
<laughs> this nigga snapping while you supposed to be dying? What you doing? <laughs> it's the last final yeah, word. I, mean, I, I was it. like, that's so me. Yeah. That is so me. That is actually very much you. Oh my God. It's like, I, you can't die without cussing one last person out. Now, just one. Just you know one. I mean? Just to get it out to your system. <laughs> and not nobody you love. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. There was, no. there was strangers coming up to him. Yeah, because everybody he loved, he didn't say shit to. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> he was done for. But boy, when it came to them doctors, mm. he was going to fuck them doctors up. That's crazy. Get your fucking hands off me. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's man. Crazy. Rest in peace to my grandfather, yeah. man. Harold Washington, man. Mm. Uh, he, was a, he, was, he was a good man. He was a good man. You yeah. Know? Real, real cool granddad, man. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, I always look at people that the older people and that's like my timeline okay well i can get this many years mm -hmm. in and he lived the longest out of his brothers by at least 10 years maybe mm, okay. at least 10 years um so you know when i look at it i'm like okay i might i might have i might have reach half of my life i might have another half in me i think like that and then i forget that there's another gene pool well see and my grandmother She's uh she's she's like eighty something. Yeah, well, um, well, I, I know, but yeah, you know, without without memories. But I'm talking about like the other gene pool. There's another. There's oh another them. Size. Oh yeah, them niggas dead. They but they died uh from drug and alcohol and shit like that. No, I think that the women on the other side died from diseases. I think. Oh really? Yeah, I think so. Damn. Early, but um, I mean, I don't know that much, but yeah. Damn. But um, rest in peace to him. Yeah, rest yeah. in peace, man. Rest yeah. in peace, man. I remember coming to the house for like the first time, and you was introducing me to him, and mm -hmm. everybody was out there and cooking and just having a good time and yeah. chilling. To know my grandfather was to love my grandfather because he was just a he was just one of those happy go lucky souls. You know what I'm saying? I remember him coming to the house. And he was flirting with your grandma the whole time. Oh, he yeah. Trying to sit next to her. And oh, all yeah. This nah, stuff. <laughs> definitely, definitely. That's that's a thing of ours, though, mm -hmm. man. But um, yeah, he was definitely trying to get some buns. Uh, I don't want his, you to say that. I like the way eight. I said flirting. Oh. That was way better than trying to get some buns. <laughs> he was trying to get my grandma buns. I man. don't want to hear that. <laughs> my gosh. I do not want to hear that shit. Ew. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So um, yeah, yeah. So that's that's um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Been your week. Been my week. Been mm -hmm. my week. Um, with that being said, depending on what's happening, we may or may not have an episode next week, just depending on how that whole situation goes. Mm -hmm. So um, just to put that out there, um. Make sure that you join the Patreon, guys. Yeah. Uh, Patreon is up and running. Uh, we just put an episode last week. We'll have another episode up this week. Um, all you got to do is go to patreon.com forward slash and then we pod. Um, or you can go to the um, you can go to the app, Patreon, and then we pod. Um, also, make sure you join us on socials. We have Instagram. We have Facebook. Mm -hmm. We have TikTok for now. TikTok for now. <laughs> and we also have uh, X uh, or Twitter, whatever you still call it. Um, all of that is and then we pod or and then we pod two on Instagram. Um, go ahead and join those things and uh, help us out a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Uh, let's get into some topics. Uh, let us see what we want to uh, talk about. This is what just popped up on my feed. Okay. Um, uh, Australia to ban TikTok, Instagram, and X for children under 16. Wait, say that again? Australia is banning TikTok, Instagram, and X for children under 16 years old. I like it. You like it? I love it. So I think I love it if I... But I don't think it's bad to have a... Uh, um, a, a social media, uh, like a website like that, that was for their ages. I don't. Why? Because the reason that they're banning it is because of the effects that it does, social media does to kids. 
And having an all kids social media doesn't mean it's not going to be full of things that either kids shouldn't see. I thought or... they would be banning it because it's a mixture of adults and kids up there and there's all kinds of shit up there. Well, that that's possible. Um, you know, you can try to ban the content. You can try to do that. Um, but, you know, kids, they they can be cruel to each other. Oh, yeah. No, there's they, also that. They can be cruel to each You're other. Right. So, right. you know, I'm and just even even. Even putting up things that wouldn't be uh, looked upon as hurtful to a child can be hurtful to a child. You've, you know, a lot of these videos of these influencers and things of mm -hmm. that nature, you yeah. put you you have a uh, you you sometimes warp the mind of what beauty is and things of that nature, especially to our young girls. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm I'm very I'm very for not letting kids have uh, social media until they're adults. But they still have Facebook. Well, and I know yeah. a lot of kids that have Facebooks. I won't add them. And they're relatives. Some of them are relatives and stuff. I won't add them. See, I don't really know a lot of kids that have Facebook. I, I think Facebook is an old thing. I know friends of kids. mine whose children have them, cousins of mine whose children have them. I won't add them. Really? Not to mine, no. Oh, yeah, no. I, 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 yeah, I would never stuff. add a child. I, I have a cousin right now who's in college, and I'm just now thinking about adding him to uh, my Facebook friends yeah. um just because you know i just he always been the little cousin I yeah exactly he's always been super young you know what i mean um but after a story i heard and uh <laughs> while i was down south um i'm like well i i guess he's ready for this oh my gosh <laughs> i don't never don't tell me those stories don't i don't want anybody to tell me them stories i do not want to know those stories nope all my cousins gonna be innocent Oh, I had man. a cousin that was only a couple years younger than me, and when she got pregnant, I was like, "Why? What were you fucking?" She was only a couple. She wasn't even that. She's not that much younger than me. She's only got to be about maybe four or five years younger than me. Oh, you, you were surprised? It was just I always saw her as my little cousin. I get it. So I, I was like, "Ew, what are you doing? Like that's <laughs> crazy. What are you doing?" But yeah, um, I had a girl that I used to babysit. And I used to do her hair and all this stuff. She got like three kids now. I'm like, oh no, absolutely wow. not. Not her. Wow. Yeah. Mary got three kids. Like, yeah. Well, if it makes you feel any better, they're saying that children nowadays are not fucking as much. Okay. So that's a good thing. I mean, they grown people, but who was saying that? Well, kids, well, the kids in like Gen Zers or just the young mm -hmm. generation, mm -hmm. they're not they're not having as much sex. They got a lot of they got a lot on their plate. Yeah. That's they, probably why. They they concerned about They concerned about so many other they things. They concerned about the issues yeah, right yeah, now. They don't have they don't, time to time, fuck. Yeah, nah. Ain't no fucking and time. I am okay with that. I gotta go protest somewhere. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Um Jasmine Brown responds after viral clip clip of Cam Newton revealing she is not the only woman he's been intimate with during their relationship. Um so if you don't know, Cam was on his podcast. Cam Newton was on his podcast. Uh, and he was talking about um, to Corey Holcomb. He was talking to Corey Holcomb. He was talking how he hasn't um, that Jasmine Brown hasn't been uh, his only intimate partner, mm -hmm. um, and she kind of knows what what it is. Uh, well, she responded. You can read the response. Uh, one of them, she said, child, here come the just checking on you DMs. I'm fine. Trust me. I know who and what my nigga is. Ain't no secrets or surprises. He can talk to me about anything. And then the other one says, um, I guess in quotes, why not just be single if you're going to cheat? I feel you. However, men just be wanting to fuck once they do that. They're back to temporarily thinking straight. It's real ghetto out here. I get it. I don't blame y'all for wanting to be single. But if you spend enough time talking to men about this topic, you'll see that it's not as shocking as it may seem. Hmm. I think that there's no definition of what a relationship should be. I didn't want no, to. No, no, no. You gotta let that. You gotta let that breathe for a second. You gotta let that breathe. For, I'm not even joking. Like you gotta let that breathe. That was. I didn't want to agree with her. I just didn't. Mm -hmm. But because as a woman, you feel like you shouldn't. I just didn't want to agree with her. Okay. Um. But saying that. It's kind of like we all have an idea of what you're supposed to do in a relationship. If she is in a situation right now where she feels like she is okay, mm -hmm. she don't get, she don't give a fuck. Like it's not bothering her. It's not harming her mental health. Mm -hmm. It's not doing, 
I don't think anybody else should tell her that she needs to be upset. Yeah. You can't tell people what to be mad about or upset about. You don't know what people are okay to deal with and what they're not. There's a whole bunch of people out here. Like we were just talking about Neo. Neo got three girlfriends. Mm -hmm. Now to me, he looked like he on the edge of a breakdown, but the relationship itself is a common relationship. There are people that live in those, in that capacity. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm not talking about because he has three girlfriends. I'm just talking about I've looked at him and he looked like he on the edge of a breakdown. But <laughs> there are people that are okay with that dynamic, and that's fine because they're the only, they're the people in the dynamic. Everybody on the outside looking in can say what you think a relationship should be. Put those rules towards what your relationship is, right. and not somebody else's. Right. Like at the end of the day, th these people are living their lives. They you cannot make people be mad for you. Or because something happened to you or because that's just too much for you to understand. If that girl is like, yo, he rich, he famous, he a nice looking dude, he got money, he sometimes he want to fuck bitches, let him fuck bitches. I don't give a shit. Yeah, at the she, end of the day, it ain't like he fucking you. She already like his what? I don't know how many baby mamas he got, like six or seven? I don't know. And she didn't care about that. So like. The only, like I'm with you. I'm, I'm with you. You you know your relationship is your relationship. Yeah. The dynamics in it is your relationship. So it doesn't it shouldn't matter to us. The only time it matter it, it doesn't even matter to us. But the only time it's an issue is if you start complaining about shit that you put yourself in. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. And then it's like we don't oh, want to hear that shit. Yeah, then it's like oh well you leave. aren't as you okay as you said you were. Right, right. Yeah. The only thing is um, the part where she said uh, where she says in the quotation marks I guess people saying why not be why not just be single if you're going to cheat and then she says I feel you. So I'm like, I'm just there like, okay, so do you feel them saying that mm -hmm. you wish he wouldn't, but you're accepting it? And there's also a, if you're okay with the dynamic, is it cheating? Mm -hmm. There's also that. If you're okay with your man every once in a while fucking somebody else. Is that cheating? That's that's the dynamic of your relationship. It's not cheating because it's cheating if you sneaking around doing some shit and you know I'm not okay with it. Huh. That's when it starts to become like a, oh, okay, well, that's you disrespecting the relationship because we've set the precedent that we don't want you, like, we don't want anybody stepping out and sneaking around. Right. But if you have gone into the relationship saying, hey, I know every once in a while you're going to fuck somebody. Yeah, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, the definition of cheating is going against the rules. Yeah. And if you've already set the rules in your relationship that this is okay to do, then you're not going against the rules, which means, like you said, I'm going to do this for you're you, not you cheating. Too. Look at that. I'm going to do that for you, yeah. too. I can yeah. use the button, too. Now I know what a button is. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I think it's if we just gotta stop telling people how to be in these relationships. We could like if we want to comment on how it might look crazy to us or something like that. That's an opinion about what we wouldn't do. Right. But it's when you start saying, "Girl, you need to do this and you should be doing this." It's kind of like, "What? Who are you to say that?" Because what if I don't want to do that? What if that's not what I came here for? What if I don't care about that? Hey, listen. I don't think there's anything else to say. That's that, yeah. that pretty much sums yeah. it up, man. I'm sorry. No, you good. You I'm good. weird. I didn't think I'd be so passionate about some shit like that. But it, I'm, I think I just, you know, I don't like anybody telling anybody what to do. Right. I hate that. Right. So. Um. Do you want to talk about uh, this? Um, you put it in the notes. I wasn't going to talk about it. I put it in the notes when it was a hot topic. Okay. So you don't want to talk I about mean, it. I mean, I don't really care about okay, it. Okay, cool. I don't care. That is fine. Uh, We can listen to this, though. Uh, and see how I don't even know who this is. I when I start seeing these gossip blogs and they put people up here, I don't know who none of these people are. Well, this is uh, a message from Carlissa. Carlissa, Carlissa, Carlissa. Yeah, yeah. So this is a message from her. But she is somebody. I just don't know who she is. That's I'm what I'm sorry. saying. There's a lot of people out here. I told nowadays. you I don't know who anybody is. Let's hear what she has to say. Can't tell a ninja no. You can't never tell him no. Mm -mm. I'll never tell your man no. The Bible say, the Bible say, don't tell them no. I know why. Do you know why, girl? Because if you tell them no, <laughs> uh, that cleaning lady gonna get you every time, honey. <laughs> she gonna walk right out the door with your with your sperm, honey. <laughs> she gonna walk right out the door with your sperm, baby. The Bible say, don't tell them no. It's a reason why I say, don't tell them no, honey. They don't take no good, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, first and foremost, of, I have a couple of things. Well, well, before you get there, um, now I've read the Bible. I don't know 
where in the Bible it said, uh-huh. don't tell your man no, but mm-hmm. it might be there. I Other people might have read it better than me. But uh, one, that, that's one thing. The other thing is, you ain't got to worry about shit because we ain't got no cleaning lady. Because who, what, where's the money coming I don't, from? I don't know. We, we don't have that cleaning lady. Well, I though, think so. three is also very important. I've never heard anybody say ninja out of their mouth <laughs> in real life. I've seen people write out the emoji in a text, but I've never heard anybody say, don't tell your ninja no. I never, just don't say, say man. But I ain't never heard nobody say ninja. Hey, listen, man. She, 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 she read the Bible. Okay. She, well, she could have said man. Words. She, she want to say bad. I mean, she said man eventually. I know, but oh, and then she was about to say it again. Um, <laughs> I put my foot up. He's trying to see if my foot is showing in the thing. Um, but I just uh, I also hate the idea of thinking that I I understand how men work. Mm-hmm. And how make, do men, and, how and, do men work? Well, I that's listen to what I'm saying first. I understand how hormones work because I don't want a whole bunch of men saying, well, you don't understand it. You're not a man. You don't know what a dick do. Da, 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 da. I don't give a fuck. But that's a problem. I don't. Um, but, and you can tell me if I'm wrong. I don't like the idea of saying, don't tell him no, because if you tell him no, he going to go out and fuck something. I don't like the idea of thinking that nobody has any kind of control over their dick at all to be like, well, I'm automatically fucking something. If you say no, um, this is what I will say. You can tell your man no. You have every right to tell your man no. It is your body. I don't care if you're married or whatever the case may be. You are in control as a woman to say no to your man. If you don't want to do something, you don't want to do something. And that's period. So I don't, I'm not with the whole you not telling him no. Now, if you always tell him no, there's never a yes. And I'm guessing she's talking about sex. Um, if you're always saying no, there might be consequences to those actions. Now, the consequence should be for the guy to leave, but like, listen, I need sex and you're not giving it to me, so I'm out. That should be the consequence. It could be leave also a discussion first. Oh, yeah, definitely have a discussion. I'm going to tell you why I'm leaving. But she made it seem like there's just automatically, you say no, and they're going to be like, well, fuck, if you say no, I'm going to go fuck something. Right. right. Like, there's no kind of... um, uh accountability like there's or or nothing that makes you like think and just be like well let me at least put this out here let me say this if i feel this kind of way to be able to communicate to whoever i'm with like automatically they're just so weak that y'all just gonna be like fuck it i'm just gonna go fuck something else i i I, don't nobody tell me no i mean it sounds like she's coming from a place of hurt like i feel like she she uh she did say a cleaning lady and yeah yeah she fucked somebody that was was really on point yeah on the nose man i gotta find out who this lady i don't know who she is this clean lady must have been bad i know y'all gonna tell me who it is but i i I can't hear you right now i don't know know who this lady is. but yeah it it sounds like she's talking from a place of hurt it sounds like she uh, either placed a hurt or she seen it happen where somebody was not trying to fuck and the dude was like, well, you know, I had to go do what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? And she was dusting the ceiling fan, so I had to dust that yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but men do have, pop against popular uh, belief, men do have control over our phalluses. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, um, if you tell me no enough times, I am going to go fuck, but I'm going to let you know this is what's happening because of this, you know, and give you a chance to, you know, do your thing. But at the same time, maybe she's okay with the man going out and doing what he got to do if she ain't doing it. She didn't sound like it. Eh. She didn't sound like it in that thing. It sounded, it sounded like she was hurt. No, but it sounded like she accepts she it sounds like she accepts what the action the action of a man going out and doing something if no. she says no she sounds like she don't say no that's what she sounds like. no she sounds like she doesn't say no but if she was to say no it sounds like she's accepting she sounds like she don't happened. say no at all so she's not accepting it because she don't want it to happen she sounds like no yes is like no is not in my vocabulary like i don't use no that's do what you like. think you could go there, there was that jim carrey movie uh, yes, man. Mm-hmm. Do you think you could go a week telling me yes? Why does it have to be a week? That's a long time. Are you talking about just sex? Or are you talking about in in yes, man? They say yes to everything. Mm-hmm. Or yes day. There was a show on Netflix. I mean, a movie on Netflix where the oh, kids yeah, I remember had a that. yes yeah, day, yeah, yeah. and everything that. was yes, yeah, yeah, and they couldn't say no to nothing. So, do you think you could do a yes day with me? A yes day? Yeah. 
I feel like I do a yes day with you every fucking day. You do not. Well, maybe not always with sex, but with everything else. I just do it. Okay, so including sex. Just add something to the list of things I already do. Sure, why not? Yo. I'm not saying it yo, like it's a bad did, thing. Why does sex have I'm not to be saying, No, I'm not chore. saying it like it's a bad thing, but I just want you to recognize everything else I said. What? You did said, you say you, yes to everything? You said, do you think you can do a yes day with me? And I said... I think I do one. And you were like, no, you don't. Because the only thing you thought about in your mind was sex. But I say yes to every else, everything else. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. I do everything. You say yes to everything. Yeah. If you take sex out of it, everything else, <laughs> I am. But that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, she's talking about sex. I know. And that's why so you was like, let, what do you mean? It, no, you so don't. So let's bring it back to a week. Do you, do you, do you think you could do a week? Full of yeses when it comes to sex. Like anytime I want to make love, you're going to say yes for a week. Do you think you could do that? It depends. Why does it have to depend? Is it yes or no? Because you will do it like five times a day. That's not true. Yes, you will. Four. Exactly. So if I can, you know what? I would do it if I could say no to everything else I got to do during the day. Why does it have to be such a? Because if you're doing it four times a day, I. Do you understand how much that is? Do you understand how much I do on a regular basis? You're right. I, okay, I'm going to be 100% honest. Yeah. If there was a week where you're just going to say yes anytime I want to make love, mm -hmm. I'm not going to ask for it four times a day. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask for it at least two times a day. Yeah. Okay. You down with that? Yeah, I'm going to say no to some other shit, though. Uh, that's fine. A lot of other shit. Okay. The problem is... I can't say no to any of that shit because you can't really do much right now. Listen. And nobody else does anything. Listen, listen. We're not even talking about that. That's not even the topic. The topic is, can you say yes for a week when it comes to making love? Once a day. No, you can't say once a day. It's a yes. So if I'm I say- I'm answering you. You asked me, could I say yes for a week? And I'm only telling once you, a yeah, day. if it was once a day. Only once a day. Yeah. Because I'm doing everything else. You, But you just you, said you ain't going to do everything say, else. So. Yeah, so who going to do it? So you're saying yes to yourself then, not to me. What? I don't ask you to do much. Because it's already done. If I stopped doing it, y'all would notice. Why Why? Why is it <laughs> that you can't do... A, why does sex have to take up that much of your time? It ain't like we fucking a long time. Baby, I, why are you asking... What do you mean? Why you're the one it, I'm having sex with. You can say it's it, a quickie and that shit will last for a while. Yeah, but why does it have to... Why does it have to negate everything else in your life? Why does it? Why is it either sex or everything else? Because with everything else that I do, I could do, it might not be every day, but it could be more than once. The only a thing week. it might interrupt is your Lincoln lawyer time. Because that's the only downtime I get. Yeah, your Lincoln lawyer time. Oh shit. Okay, so no downtime for me because I'm doing. Why? Why regular... are you not enjoying sex? Because when for one, if you make it like this, that's not what mm, you don't want to get. This. This is not what you want to talk about. Because you don't want me to make it serious. I'm trying to explain it to you. You keep digging and asking me questions that are going to make it serious. And I'm not trying to make it serious. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Because you, you don't want me to. That's what I'm, It mind. has nothing to do with not wanting to do it. I don't mind that. I'm just saying I'm usually tired. You're adding that on to all the other stuff that I'm doing. And nobody is helping with that stuff. Okay. I would love to just be like, yo, like the other day, I enjoyed the fuck out of that. Mm -hmm. I didn't have nothing I had to do. Mm -hmm. I wasn't stressed about. I was stressed about that one thing. But like, I don't understand why you don't get that. You realize you're not running around 24-7, right? I'm not running around 24-7? You're not. I'm not doing things you for everybody 24-7? You're not. You have downtime every day. I see the downtime. To watch a little bit of TV because I don't have downtime yeah. outside of? You can, whatever you do with your downtime is your downtime, right? It's your downtime. I'm just saying that there is down, there is downtime that is available. Now, with my, with my feet being injured and all that, it is hard for me to stand for a long period of time right now. It is hard for me to walk. But I don't mind. I don't mind. Do, I mean, so I, I'd there be are tired, things but... there, there are things that I cannot participate in helping you. And I completely get that. So maybe the yes day doesn't happen or yes week doesn't happen right now. Mm -hmm. But in the future, you know what I'm saying? My feet getting better every day. <laughs> mm -hmm. In the future, 
I'm just asking about a yes week where you just say yes. Instead of doing the no like you wanted to do yesterday, Mm -hmm. instead of doing the no, just saying yes. I am very interested to see what would happen for you if we were just to have sex multiple times a day or maybe just multiple times a week. Okay. And there's no and there's no issue. There's no nothing. I'm interested to see what it would do to you. I'm interested to see what would happen if. Never mind. You're right. You said I don't nev- nothing. You're right. We'll we'll look at your yes day. Okay. I need a yes week too. I that, need a that's yes fine. year. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. You ready? A yes month. Here's the thing. If you ask me that and it's not dealing with sex, okay, cool. I'm down. Why do I have to ask you? Oh, my gosh. Because that's what we're talking about. If you was to ask me for a yes week to do whatever you said yes to, whatever you wanted me to do, whatever it is that, you know what I'm saying, that may bring you enjoyment or whatever. It doesn't have to be this. It could be anytime, you know, uh, I want to go somewhere, you got to say yes. It could be as simple as that. It could be as simple as anytime I want to play phase 10, you say yes. It could be something as simple as that. The point is just going out of your comfort zone of saying no all the time to going to say yes, to see how you would enjoy something a little more, seeing if you might be missing something, seeing if you can put a little more into whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's whatever. Okay, I and that you want to talk about something different than what we were talking no, about. No, because those things affect all the other things. Okay, you make it seem like I just don't want to have sex with you. All those other things affect the the yes week. I understand that, and I you said, don't. and I and I said, when my feet get better, that we can do the yes week then. What's the next subject? Okay, I don't even know. Oh. <laughs> Uh, you put this in here too. It's up to you if you want to talk about that. I just put stuff in there because we didn't have nothing to grasp right. off of. Well, us. I'll just bring it up. What's y'all opinion on giving your man multiple chances but cutting a friend off cold turkey for doing something that hurts you? I think it just depends on how they hurt you. You could be giving somebody chances for... I mean, you, you again, do what you want to do in your relationship, but I mean, I feel like if... If they do something bad that hurts you, like maybe you just don't want to deal with that. I think in either situation, if they do something that's like crazy that you can't deal with, you could still cut them off. Like I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I I I don't get into women's business like that. What about men? Uh what about men? As far as cutting off friends? Mm-hmm. Uh, me personally, I don't really cut off uh, a lot of people. Like I do, but would I say I give my friends more chances than a woman or vice versa? No, I give everybody the same amount of chances. Yeah, I was about Matter to say, fact, this, do- this doesn't really work for hon- you. Honestly, I probably would give a woman... No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I think it would be the opposite for me. I'll mm-hmm. give a woman less chances than a friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like romantically, except like, of course, my wife. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But if it was just like dating, I would give my friends way more leeway, way more rope than I would a woman that I'm just. Oh, dating. I know that makes that makes that makes more sense. Yeah, I mean, yeah. at least for me. I don't know. I guess it just depends on what is actually happening. What you mean? Like what the thing is that they did that makes you want to cut them off? Oh, okay. Like I think it depends on that. Okay. But I don't know. Okay. Uh, Dr. Warren's getting just five hours of sleep per night can lead to an early death. Go to the go to the bottom. I think it just, it, it explained it a little bit more. Um, showing that people who sleep less than five hours per night are more likely to experience cognitive decline, cardiovascular disease, stroke, and kidney disease. Um, a study found that sleeping less than 4.5 hours or more than 6.5 hours increases the risk of cognitive decline. Oh, so the sweet, the sweet, the spot sweet is spot is five and a half and, hours. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of that's yeah, that's kind of crazy. Um, but I also, 
I also put this in here when I woke up in the middle of the night at like two, three in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so like I literally was, and then I started like getting paranoid. It's, but then it says prioritize your health, aim for seven to eight hours of sleep each night. That don't make no sense. And focus on quality sleep habits. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I think the sweet spot is supposed to be five and a half, but the last couple of days, I hadn't been able to get full sleep. I don't know mm. if you felt me, but I've been moving around in that bed. Like, nah, I don't feel shit. I haven't basketball. been able to get any good sleep. And the night, especially the night before um, election day, mm. I probably got maybe three hours of sleep. Oh, wow. But reading that while being awake almost sent me into an anxiety attack because I was trying oh to force my myself God. to go to sleep then. And I couldn't force myself to go to sleep. My heart started beating fast. And I was like, I can't go to bed. I'm so tired. I was mm, so mm, tired. Mm. But and but I've also read that women need more sleep than men. Okay. How do you feel about that? Sleep, nigga? Can't sleep. Why? I don't know. I I don't I, I don't go to bed early at I'm I think I need to start going. Like last night I went to bed at like 10, which was early. Like I went to sleep at like 10. I got in the bed early. Mm -hmm. Like 9 30, 10. And I actually felt good waking up because I felt like I got enough sleep. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I mean, it's just hard. We get about the same amount of sleep. We wake up to greet nah, the day. Nah, we don't get the same amount of sleep. I get my full rest. I don't wake up in the middle of the night. I be, I'm I'm down. But you also got a CPAP. You goddamn right. I, maybe I need one. Maybe. That might be what it is. Maybe. And I'm usually, I usually get five and a half to six straight hours of mm -hmm. sleep. And then I'm up. I'm usually up about 5 30, 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, and then I'm pretty much up. Like I'll I'll close my eyes again usually for like 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. But I'm usually up by that point. Like my body is ready to go. I don't even know what it feels like for my body to be ready to go. No, I don't I, know what I that didn't, is. I didn't experience this until the uh the the sleep mask. I've heard so many people say that, and I'm like, I don't even understand that feeling. I can't. No, like, it's you, an amazing feeling. Like you can't describe it to me, and I'd be like, I get it. Like I don't know right, what that ready? is. Ready? You ever had a nut? Mm -hmm. You know how your body just feels like it released everything. Yeah. That's how it feels. Every morning. Every morning, it feels like I woke up off of a nut. Now I usually go to sleep off of a nut, but you know, what I mean, that's I, insane to me. What? That feeling. Yo, it's it's amazing. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Like, I didn't realize how important sleep was until I started getting good sleep. Yeah. Like, I had no idea. Like, because a nigga like me was just like, fuck it. I don't even know what the, why we got to sleep. Mm -hmm. Turn up. We up all day, all night. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that I miss is being able to stay up late. Yeah, you don't do that at all. You won't. By the time you get in the bed, I'm thinking maybe we'll watch a show or two when we get in the bed, mm -mm. and you roll over and you are snoring. Yeah, yeah. Damn. You're right. I mean, I I've been doing that a little bit too, but I've been trying to get in the bed early enough. But some of that bed just sucks everything out of it's you. It's supposed to though, and we've been. I think we've been making a conscious decision not to be in the bed until it's time to go to bed. Yeah, I I told you even with naps, like yeah. you'll go lay in the bed and take a nap. Yeah, but I that's can't sleep. do that. But I can't do that. I like middle of the day. Mm -hmm. I can't take a nap in the bed at all. I have to be on a couch or whatever. Like it'll suck everything out of me and make it so much harder for me to. Wake Unless up. it's the weekend, ninety percent of the time I do not touch that bed unless I'm trying to sleep. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so my body has already made that connection, sleep, bed. Yeah. So when I get in there, it's like, oh, well, you know, we got to do it here. No, I cannot. I can't do it. I'm sorry. But yeah, you got to change that, man. Mm -mm. You got to change that. That's all right. Yeah, I'm going to do something. I think I'm going to, I went, I was taking the, what the magnesium supplement before. You've I think I'm going to go back to doing that. Things. Well, I stopped doing it. And you stopped. And I, I, I even bought the gummies, the sleep gummies. I haven't taken any of those. I haven't done anything. So I'm going to start. I think I need to. Damn, son. Yeah. Um, NYC residents ask to cut back on flushing the toilet. All they got to do is get some kids like ours because them little bastards don't be flushing the toilet for oh nothing. Oh, my God. My God. If they do, they they flush stuff down the yeah, toilet. Yeah, for real. Stuff gets up. Yeah, it's a citywide drought going on in effect right now. That's nasty. Um, you're not supposed to be taking long showers. You can't flush the toilet. It's some bullshit, man. Literally. That really tests if you're really really good at taking a shower though because if you got to take a short shower then you got to get all of the essential parts in a limited amount of time 
And sometimes people go in there, they run water all day and they still don't clean right. Do you think that people are more dirty when they take a short shower? Like if you hear somebody go in the shower and they come out like five minutes later, do you think they still dirty? It depends on the person. Some of, <laughs> some of them can go in there and I'm like, you didn't do what you were supposed to really? do while you were in there. Yeah, yeah. But some people, I, they I, like you've smelt them. You know that they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> like I think I like today this morning I took a, a faster shower than I used. Sometimes I'll just go and just be in the shower mm -hmm. because it's it's hot water. I put it on my my back might be hurting. Mm -hmm. I'm just in there, just whatever. But if I need to take a shower, I know exactly what I, I go in there and do what I need to do. I used to take long showers until I started teaching a time management, uh, not course but program. I used to tell the kids. Um, that you're wasting so much time in the bathroom mm -hmm. when it shouldn't be that long. And what I used to do is I would tell them, <laughs> I would tell them to uh, sing their favorite song yeah. from the beginning. And they would sing their favorite song. And by the time the chorus was was done, I finished showering. Mm. Yeah, I mean, so I like, you know, I'll, I'll pretend that I had, mm -hmm. you know, a, a washcloth and I'm just washing everything and, getting everything. They just singing along and mm. going, getting hype. And by the time they had the chorus, I'm like, I am done, y'all. That's how long it takes. You shouldn't have to take a long ass shower. Mm. Sometimes like, we just go in there because we need some time alone. Yeah, that's what the shit, you know. What? That's what the toilet's for. No. It's, unless your legs fall asleep, then that's a whole nother, oh my God. No, shower is relaxing for me because I play rain at night when I go to sleep. So if I'm also in the shower, uh, it's like I'm chilling. Like, I'm okay. Nah, man, you waste some water because we got to pay for I water. I mean, yeah, there is all of that. <laughs> but you know, that's also kids. Like, kids be dirty. Like, I had a cousin that used to go in there and shower and just run the water. But it don't matter how dirty you are. It, unless you are working at a coal field, coal mine or, you know, a shipyard or something like that where you are really getting burnt on grease and dirt and all that shit mm -hmm. you, you you it don't take that long mm -hmm. it don't take that long to get clean yeah you're right you know i mean you're right i mean i know that it don't take that long to get clean at all yeah. man yeah uh yo don't go to oklahoma b it's uh, Geary, Oklahoma. Geary, Oklahoma, or jerry one or the other uh oklahoma's Geary. entire force in Geary, oklahoma uh police force called qu calls you out to quit on the same day, following the chief statement on Facebook. So basically, chief says some wild shit, and it was like, oh, fuck this, we all out. They, um, I think some civil council members or, or, or city council members also quit. Damn. The same day. I think that's kind of crazy. Um, I've heard of that happening in places, though. That's Yo, that's wild when your town's so small that you may not have a, a, a you need a gun, a, a police force. Oh when hell yeah! When your town small, you absolutely need oh yeah, a gun. you gotta be police. Yeah, you police junior, goddamn yeah. it, police junior. Hell yeah, man, police junior is stupid. Yeah, you got that's what you got to do out in them towns, man. Yeah, shit, and also you gotta you know when when ain't no cops around, what you can do whatever. Lawless might be safer. Hmm. Nothing. I was just playing. That was that was me playing. I love cops. Oh, I just heard what you yep, said. It you just did. you did. Just dawned on me what you said. I was you just wild. Playing. That's you crazy. Wild. Oh my gosh, this city um the the person's name was Terrell. It was spelled like my mom's name. Oh, that's cool. I don't ever see nobody's name spelled like my mama's name. Is T E R R Y L. That's different. Yeah, Terrell. How people use it. Most people Terrell. call her Terrell cuz they think it's Terrell, but it's Terrell. Mm -hmm. I don't know anyone else named Terrell. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I've never seen it. You know what? Like now that you say it, neither do I. That's crazy, right? Yeah, I guess. She was born in Germany. I don't know if that means anything. I don't think she so. Not, she was. She not German. She was born in a base. I got to say that because you be trying to tell people. What, that you are not? <laughs> and there you go. All right. Um, Quincy Jones died, guys. Thoughts and prayers. Yeah, man. 91. Quincy Jones when died. When is his memoirs coming out? I was talking I about the- I need to read it. The um, the tributes. I said, if y'all don't do it right, he gonna come down and tell y'all. I don't know if y'all know anything about Quincy, but- <laughs> Greatest producer of all time, Quincy man. says whatever the fuck. He was saying whatever the fuck he wants. I know a lot of people that have met Quincy, too. Um, my homeboy was in the little documentary on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Um 
Uh, like I know a cu- I know a couple of people that have met him and have posted pictures and all that stuff. But like, man, he was just one of those people you thought always was gonna be here. No, nah, I knew he was gonna die. I did. I don't know why. Somebody, he was ninety one. But it's the energy. You it ever was heard knocking. Him? It's the, that door was it's, knocking. It's the energy of Quincy Jones, though. Oh, he had a great energy. You yes, feel yes, like yes, people yes. that just say whatever the fuck they want. It it it, it is them. They don't stress about shit because they can say whatever the fuck they want. So they probably got healthy hearts because <laughs> they not stressed what? out. He just say whatever he want. He not holding nothing in. He not worried about shit. He 91. Okay. So maybe, you know, that's what got him there. Saying whatever the fuck he wanted. You don't think that don't make sense to you? Yeah. When you stressed out. Because a lot of people want to put on masks for shit or they want to cover up shit or they don't want to say exactly how they feel. He did all of that. I get it. So rest in peace, man. Um, absolutely. Legend. Um, if you have not gotten a chance to watch that We Are the World documentary, that shit is amazing on Netflix. Definitely watch that. Secret Garden, baby. And and his uh his uh doc. Was it a doc? Something, whatever. Um, that's on Netflix too. It's it's really good. It's yeah. good, man. Here in the garden. Him and Barry Gordy are it just felt like we'll be around. Barry Gordy's still out here. But I thought I don't know. I just, that's because Barry Gordy's still fucking yeah. Diana Ross. I think so too. Yeah. You think so? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I forgot what award show I was watching, but they were honoring one of them and the love they had between each other. I think it was other, Diana Ross they were honoring. Well, the love they had between each other. Oh, I'm absolutely. I was like, oh yeah, he's yeah. put his penis in that in the last couple of years yeah, at know. least. Yeah, I don't know if it's doing anything when it get in there, but he, what he you doing mean? it. I don't know, man. Don't you he like, look like he, he, don't he, like chill out a little bit? They don't chill out? Not if you got the right medicines. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah, because I be seeing what Smokey be doing on stage. I know he putting his oh oh too. yeah, Smokey is because them fucking. little hips, them hips. <laughs> Come on, Smokey. Come Smokey on. made a whole album about fucking. Oh yeah, and nah. and <laughs> well in his eighties. So he's yeah. like, I just want y'all to know I still got it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, damn. What are we watching? I didn't really watch anything because of my granddaddy and everything. So um, I've been still been watching Lincoln Lawyer. I'm on season two. Okay. Um. I think that's basically what I've been watching. Did I watch anything else? Um, I think it's just been that. We watched The Voice. We finally watched the battles that we didn't watch last time. Yeah, my team is still doing good. Um, I think my team is doing okay, too. I think my team is doing okay, too. I, there was a couple of, maybe maybe a surprise or two, but not really. Like, mm-hmm. they were all, they all did, I'm, I'm still there. Have I'm you st- done any steals? I'm still there with you. Uh, no, can I do steals you on the game? A, you can do a steal. Oh, yeah, I'm about to do one then. Um, you can do a steal. You know, if you got if you got the uh, if you got the the room for it. Yeah, I think I do. Um, then I'm gonna do a steal. I didn't know I could do a steal. Yeah, too. I did a steal. Yeah. All right. So I might do one. I did a steal after um, one of the battle performances. I was like, he may go far, but um, no, I'm I'm still pretty. I'm, yeah. I'm 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 pretty pretty content with my team, man. Yeah. Still um, been watching the regular shit, Abbott. Um, Papa's House. I still think it's hilarious. Y'all should watch Papa's House if you haven't yet mm-hmm. on CBS. The 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 Damon Wayans is. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think I've really watched. I've been wanting to watch movies. You know, all the holiday movies are coming out now, so I'm probably yeah. about to watch some of those. But... Yeah. That's mm-hmm. your thing. Yeah, I love holiday movies. Oh man, we're gonna do a whole holiday movie segment. Yeah. I feel it. Yeah, we are. I feel it. Hell yeah. Um I have been reading though, uh, Love After Midnight, so mm-hmm. Sister Soldier. Uh, it is the third installment of the Coldest Winter Ever saga. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's 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 doing it's doing what it's what it's supposed to be doing right now. Oh, I finished JoJo's uh autobiography too, which I really enjoyed because I've always wanted to know her story and mm-hmm. um i mean i knew it because i followed her since she, you know she was young but mm-hmm. it's just so interesting um that the was way an they, audio book right yeah yeah um the way they played with that girl like just they played with her um i also never knew she dated jeremiah which she never says in the doc but i, I mean in the book but after i was done i was like i have to know who some of these people are she don't say their names mm-hmm. and um jeremiah was one of them i did not know that but um I hope she gets everything that she wants to get. She's super talented. She's been through a lot. Um, so it was just, it was good to read that. I gotta, I'm, I'm a, you know, get me another one. I want to do Will Smith's too. And the reason I haven't sat down and read a book is literally because I uh, am doing so much, but I listen to podcasts, especially when I'm cooking and stuff. So I can listen to the audio book 
like the same type of time. Mm. And I've always heard that Will Smith's audio book is like really good. Um, so I'm gonna probably do that one next. But okay. yeah. Okay. See, I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to do like you. <laughs> <laughs> books, books, book gang. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Uh damn, well, that's all I got for today, man. Yeah, I think that's all I got too. That's Just make sure y'all get y'all tickets. Now I got some shit for, for Patreon. I got yeah. a couple of things for Patreon. Yeah, but... make sure y'all get your tickets, please. Mm -hmm. Get your tickets. We got Philly about to go on sale. Raleigh and Virginia Beach are currently on sale. Make sure you get your tickets. Like, tell your people. Repost the videos you like. Do all of the things. Just, you know, we love y'all. And we just want to see y'all out there. Yeah. Just want to have a good time. So, yeah. That's what it is. That's well, awesome. with that being said, and then we have Sex and So Should You. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Bye.